In this season's Premier League, with 25 games played, most teams are within a few wins or losses of where they were at this stage last season. Indeed, of the 17 teams in last year's competition still present this term, only four are more than eight points better or worse off. The two biggest movers are Chelsea, 30 points better off after 25 games, and Leicester City, 32 points worse off. It's a massive gulf. With the team who finished 10th last term likely to win the title, and the team who were crowned champions in relegation form. While Antonio Conte has given Chelsea focus and adapted their system to maximise the ability of players like Victor Moses and Marcus Alonso, the obvious shift in power from the Foxes to the Blues is the tireless, talented N'Golo Kante. Kante made Leicester tick. Last season, Leicester made the most interceptions, 819 or 21.6 per game, and won the second most tackles, 658 or 17.3 per game of any Premier League side. They also only gave up 142 shots on target, the sixth lowest total. Kante's personal contribution was nothing short of heroic. He made more interceptions, 156, and won more tackles, 125, than any other player in the league in his first season in English football. He made just under 20% of all Leicester's interceptions and 19% of their tackles. Kante kept opponents at bay, prevented them getting close enough to shoot, turned the ball over time and time again, and released the counter-attacking talents that won Leicester the most surprising top-flight title in English football history. Kante is still a wonderful player this season, but his focus has shifted in a team that relies less on counter-attacking and where he plays alongside a less mobile, deep-lying playmaker. Kante is still putting in a huge defensive shift, but has also taken on a more dynamic role. Indeed, Kante is the sixth most successful passer in the league by volume, and is passing at 87.8% accuracy, with Chelsea's team accuracy 83.4%. His effect on Chelsea has been marked too. In 2015-16, they were 18th for interceptions, 518, and 7th worst for shots on target faced, 176. This season, they are 9th for interceptions, 368, and have allowed the fewest shots on target in the league at only 68. Kante's more advanced position and Chelsea's more aggressive style of play keep attackers away from Courtois' goal. He has tightened up their defensive stance enormously. Leicester, meanwhile, have dropped off a cliff defensively. The loss of Kante's energetic screening has not only left the ageing, slow centre-backs Hutton Morgan exposed, but robbed the Foxes of the instigator of their counter-attacking style. There's a combined 62-point gap between Kante's team last season and Kante's team this season. And while Kante's role has changed at Chelsea, he's quickly become the league's most important defensive midfielder. If there's a particular team or player you'd like to see featured in a future episode of By The Numbers, please leave a comment and let us know. Thanks for watching.